Welcome to the Body Combat Fitness Lab. My name's Rach and I'm here to guide you along this journey to a fitter and more powerful you. You're about to step into a whole new world, in fact, multiple worlds, where we'll take your fitness to a whole nother level using mixed martial arts movements. By the end of this journey, you'll be feeling fitter, powerful and ready to take on everything. But before we start, there's information that we need to gather to help calculate your fitness gains in strength and power. Great. Right. Now, Dan's going to teach you everything you need to know to get the most out of every workout. I'm going to take you through some of the basic strikes. Let me start with two stances. The first one is what we call stance. So the feet are wide in the shoulders, the chest is up, bend your knees, embrace your abs. The second is our combat stance, either left leg forward or right leg forward, and then just distribute your weight forward and back. We've got a couple of strikes. The first is the jab, and the second is a cross. The jab will always come off the front arm, so rotate your shoulders. The cross always off the back arm, and you can do that in front stance or in combat stance. So why don't you give that a try? So let's start in a left combat stance. Put your hands up and already we're gonna throw a left jab, that's purple. And now green, let's throw a right cross. Awesome. Tuck your chin down, little tempo, turn the shoulders. Awesome fully extend. Did you hit the middle of the target there? Great, so let's try it on the other side. Right stance, hands up. Good, lean forward and strike. Soften the knees, release the back heel. Excellent, you've got this, this is perfect. Just keep the elbow soft. Awesome. The harder you punch the targets, the bigger the rings you'll see exploding out of it. So strike hard and give it all you've got. Let me take you through the uppercuts and hooks. My favorite. Starting with the uppercut. You can do it from front stance or a combat stance. Put your hands up. We lean to one side and we come up and under, and you'll see the targets, they change direction. Now for the hooks, circular punches, the targets come in, so we've got to come around. Just notice how the knuckle sits in line with the shoulder. So why don't you give that a try? All right, so we're gonna do this in a front stance, so feet nice and wide. Here's that first move, it's an uppercut, left arm. And now your right arm, so load, bend, and lift up. Now hook, so we want to preload, so we rotate inwards. And now your right side, turn inwards, excellent. Let's go back to the uppercut, roll shoulders forward. And now hooks, turn body, release heel. One big one. Now it, you're a professional already. Let me take you through squats and slips. Now you've got horizontal walls. They come directly at you. You've got to squat down, so you've got to get your shoulders out of the way, you've got to get your head out of the way. You push your knees out towards your little toes, lift your chest and brace your abs. And now you're powering out of your legs. Now those walls, they might get lower and lower, so you've got to get deeper. The other one are vertical walls. So you can be in a combat stance, wait for them to come, and you've just got to get your shoulders out the way. You don't need to move your feet. Just the enough to work the muscles in your core. So why don't you give that a try? Get into a front stance. All right, the wall's coming on your right, which means you've got to slip to your left. So move your shoulders out the way and change direction. And now wide squat. Stand up, slip to your left, go to your right. 
Squat down, chest up, brace abs. Now, lean to your left and hold. Hold, 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 hold. Lean to your right and hold. Awesome. Now you're going to squat down and stay down. Stay down. Brace your abs. And then lift up nice and tall. Awesome. Yeah, great movements. Let me take you through sky punches and hammer fists, otherwise known as the battle rope slams. The sky punches, we want to start in a wide stance. Lift your chest, you brace your abs, the tiger comes over the line of your shoulders and your head and you strike, boom, directly up. Now you might be doing that with one arm or both arms. Now the hammer fist, we want to be striking with the outer part of the fist, the little fingers, and that might be sides or even down. And so if it's battle ropes, imagine you've got a heavy rope, brace your abs and slam. So why don't you, Give that a try. All right, so let's practice those strikes from a wide front stance. It's a left sky punch. You ready? Left hand. Now, same thing on the right. Both hands together. Center of the target. Yeah, you nailed it. All right, so we're going to change it up. These are hammer fists. Bending at the elbow, striking down like you're going to beat a drum. You ready? Left hand now. Right side, you've got this. Both hands together and pow. <laughs> All right, left to the side, right to the side, both hands out to the side. Now let's just finish above your head. Go. Yeah, really good stuff. Oh yeah, congratulations. All right, let's get things moving. Click on the first recommended workout and let's get started. One of the cool things about throwing boxing moves is learning how to move your shoulders. So when you see those walls come, stand your ground, take a wide stance and roll in and out using the legs to weave your way through. Oh, ready for the next challenge. I get you. All right, so it's all on you. Coming to your left combat stance. You'll love this one. I guarantee by the end of it, the wolf will be awake. Put your hands up. Elbows close to your ribs. High boxing guard. Smack the left jab hard. Go. Now, this is basic. It's not too fast, this workout. It's about power training, power shots, training the muscles of the body, squat and jab down, stand up right hook, left hook, find that beat, right hammer fist, corner, did you get it, stand up and hook, now stay up and hook, here comes that slip, you're crunching to your left, from the top, power jab, now it's a power jab, so the only focus is, is to make the ring as big as you can, to really take the score up and hit every strike, squat down, butt back and down, Power hook, right side, to ya, to ya, to ya, uh, to ya, what, to ya, hammer. I love it, I love it because the music speaks volumes. Crunch to your right. It is a workout that is fun. It is a workout that just makes you feel alive. Power hook to finish, round one done. What do the wolves say? I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll beat you at this game. Coming for you, right combat stands, big time jabs.
big city jabs. Boom, right in the middle. Yeah, wait, sometimes they explode and sometimes they don't, Rach. Yes, I know. That's life, baby. Get down, body shot, stand up, turn the hip into the hook. See if you can lift your elbow a little bit higher. Here comes the hammer fist, sting it. So there's your power coming through the hips and then you're gonna slip and come out of it with a big jab. Come out, come out, boom, roll the shoulder. Get the elbow up nice and high. It starts to get a bit harder now, doesn't it, on the second side? All right, but we're made for hard. We're built for hard, power hard. Like this beat, it's coming at you. Turn your hip, sit on the punch. When we say that, we mean bend your knees, turn your hips, shoulder roll, shoulder roll, power hook. How's your score doing? You going up or down? All the way up. All I do is hit my target. Big shot, boom. So we've got two rounds left. You've got me, then Rach is gonna bring us home. So we wanna start in a nice wide front stance. We've got those power jabs, one on the left, one on the right, hit the rhythm. Awesome, awesome. Now get ready to crunch, slip, right side, and jabs. See how the rhythm's getting a little bit quicker now. Yeah, testing your reflexes, testing your timing, testing your skill levels. Look at that leaderboard, you are climbing to the top. Keep those combos coming up. Come on, hold on. Power training, left hook. You're a winner, you were born a winner. Hit it, heavy, heavy. Hammer fist, corner, got it. Yes, very, very good. I know you face hurdles in your life sometimes and you can take out any frustration you have with inside this workout and know that you are a master of your own environment. Nailed it, one last round. Are we gonna take this one home, peeps? Okay, it's on like Donkey Kong. Or it's on like, let's not combat. Jab, left, right. Oi! You stand on your ground and now you're gonna move out of the way, but you ain't moving your feet, there you go. That's helping you work your core. We all like that core work. It's gonna come a little bit faster. Watch out, watch out! Shoulder rolling. Mmm, someone call the fire brigade. There's smoke coming up these shoulders. Get down, get down. Come up. Power training time, power. Ugh. Hit that sting in that hammer. Now turn into these hooks, and if that helps, make a little bit of noise. You can shout at me, because I can't hear you. Hit it like Serena. Boom! Your name is going up to the top. Because all I do is, all I, all I, smash that blue ball. When I grow up, Rach, I want to be just like you. Good work. Great score. Okay, we don't come this close to stay where we are. Next time you're going to get it. You're doing great so far. Let me just help you with some more details around the jab. Wait for the target to come and at the end range of your strike, that's when you make the connection. Remember, we wanna have a soft elbow. And what I like to do is I like to rotate the lead shoulder, the hip and the foot forward as the target comes in. And then finally use breath. <sighs> 
because that gives you even more power. Good luck. Okay, sometimes you feel confident, sometimes you don't, but every time you do it. This workout is all about putting your body in the right position to load before you explode. Watch out for them random targets. I ain't kidding either. This has got a groovy beat. We're gonna start with a little side slip. You're gonna go to your left. Stop playing, move it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I like to dance in the shadow as well. Right. I think you know which way you gotta slip, otherwise you're gonna get hit. Left, left jab. Slip right. Right jab. Slip left. Slip right. Yep, it got faster. Left jab. Right jab. Slip and move. This is how we move around the ring. You gotta be able to move and strike. Okay. Jab. Power. So load body. Think about grounding your feet to the floor. Rolling your shoulder. Turn in the body. It's getting faster. It's about to get even faster. Unload. Go. Shoulder rolling. Switching the core arm. You got it. You feel confident. A little swag. A little shoulder swag. All right. Little combo. Three, two, one. Slip and move. Squat down. And coming. Four jabs. Four, three, two. Slip to the left. Now get down, get under. Four jabs. Load in, shoulders, core, full body weight. So the reason we're moving around is, you'll see when a boxer's in the ring, they learn to move their feet in the right position to be able to load power in the punch. Don't let me distract you, you got work to do. All right, uppercut. Load the shoulder. Roll your shoulder forward and then bring the punching shoulder forward. Like a figure of eight. Big hook. Now turn your hip and imagine you're hitting your hip into the target. Release the heel. All right, uppercut. So quicker. Lift, right, left, big right hook. Slip left. Squat down. Keep blowing. No hating. Uppercut, left, right. Big right hook. Slip left. If you want to make those M-O-V-E-S, you got to load the shoulders. Yep, it's slow. Yes, you've got time. Go big with your movement. Go big in the range. Now get into the legs. Squeeze your glutes as you push out of the squat. Dip and dive. Getting down. Tucking under. Standing up. Go. Oh, you're good at this now. Oi, big one. <laughs> you look like you're having a good time there. You're boogieing. So because it's slow, let's just focus on power. Come on. Not much that you really need to learn now, other than just perfecting your movement, enjoying it, cruising with it. See that? Rhythm's already changed, and you know it's about to get faster. We've been here before. Come on. Tuck your chin down a little bit. Drive the power from the shoulders. Yep, hello shoulders. Yeah, you're still getting a workout. You just forgot because you're having such a good time, right? Oh, we're going to mix it up now. Come on. Power shot, power shot. Remember that side slip? Get down and squat. All right, you're on your own now. Quick reactions. Just a few tips to maximize your technique. Remember your full range and then bend your knees every time. So when you're slipping, you're still bending your knees. So you're slipping and crunching. And when you're squatting, you still want to brace your abs, keep your hips square and your chest lifted. Power strikes. Random strikes. Did you get them? Uppercut. Now roll in and under, change arm. Back to your right. And back to your left. But try and hit these hooks and imagine you're hitting a big, heavy punch bag, yeah? Use all the power in your shoulders, your hip and your legs. Up. Through the sky now. Turn the corner. 
Drop out the way. Get out the way. You in the rhythm. I love it. M O V E S. And you certainly have some. Just remember to breathe out. Use your breath. Come on, breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Big side step. Oh, turn your body. So that was about a quick reaction. So we're still working on your motor skills. Still throwing random tugs every now and then just to see what your reaction timing is like. I'm looking at your combo score right now, and you are doing amazing. And look at that total leaderboard score. Wow, come on, hold on. We're nearly at the end now. Finish really big, come on. Oh yeah, get out of the way. Hit it, hit it. Oh, perfect. So close, so far.